Hi, my name is Agatha. Welcome in Agatha's Cottage. Today we are celebrating second birthday of Stashab. Happy birthday, Stashab. Uh, if you are here any length of time, you know I absolutely love using Stashab. I have a big fabric collection and it will be hard to keep track or to remember what I have if it wouldn't be for Stashab. I use it on a daily basis and it's brilliant when I wake up in the middle of the night with the idea for something. It happens to me too often and in the past I would just write down the note and leave it beside uh, my bed. Unfortunately, with two crazy cats, very often those notes got lost or eaten or there were various things happening to them. I don't know what it is about my cats and loose pieces of paper. They're just crazy about them. So stash up to the rescue. And whenever I wake up and I have brilliant idea, I can just quickly log it to the stash hub and fill the remaining things in the morning. Stash hub was started by fabulous married couple, Doug, and Yvette. They started two years ago and I absolutely love it from the beginning. So Doug does all the coding and the boring stuff and Yvette does the fun stuff. Um, and I absolutely love using Stash Hub. So if you would like to participate in this challenge and win one of the fabulous prizes, you need to obey by few simple rules. First, you need to make something or few somethings using two meters of cotton. So um, it doesn't have to be woven cotton, so it doesn't have to be poplin or uh, quilting cotton or whatever. It can be cotton jersey, it can be cotton blend. As long as the majority of the content is cotton, it counts. So you need to use two meters, but you can make few things using those two meters. What else? You need to post on Instagram before, between 1st and the 30th of November and use hashtag so to celebrate too. You might ask why cotton, why two? So two meters because it's second birthday and cotton because cotton is traditional gift for um, using forgiving for the second anniversary of marriage. Talking about the anniversaries, Chris and I will be celebrating the anniversary that requires a bronze present. I wonder, do you know which anniversary is that? When Yvette contacted vloggers and asked who would like to join, I was just, count me in, count me in. <laughs> I love Stash Hub, so of course I had to join in celebrations. There is the whole vlogger tour there are vloggers multiple times during a month of November. I will leave link to the playlist down below uh, and I hope you will have a look and enjoy all the fabulous vlogs. I certainly did. So I was like, okay, yeah, I have plenty of fabrics in my stash. Of course I have two meters of something with cotton. And of course I did. I will pop here um, the little video of how I was searching through my stash hub to find two meters of fabric and then limit those two meters to fabrics with cotton. And then I had to start thinking what I actually want to make. Because this month is crazy busy for me. I'm sewing a dress for my friend's wedding. I'm sewing gifts for a gift to November. I will be sewing few gifts that will use two meters of cotton. So I'll be sewing some PJs for Alice. So I talked about those in my gift to November video, so I won't be repeating myself, but I wanted to do something extra just for this challenge. And I went through my stash and sorry, my collection <laughs> and I picked few fabrics. So I have ideas for two and I need your help with two more. Let's start with the fabrics. I know what I want to do. So first is this, it's cotton poplin. I got it uh, 
I think it will be three years ago in White's in Newbridge. So the shop no long, is no longer there. So I want to make Aria button down blouse by Love Notions using this fabric. I had it in, like basically I bought the fabric with this pattern in mind. And I think it will fit perfectly with the current trends. I do hope I will squeeze the shirt out of the two meters because it's 112 centimeters wide fabric. So it's a bit tricky, but we will see because of how the print is. I might be able to play pattern Tetris a little bit more than with the directional print. The other fabric is this. I know I'm very boring with colors this time. It's also fabric from Whites. I got it, it will be, uh, I think during their sale when they were closing down. So I have two meters of this fabric. I have the same fabric in my stash, but in a red color way. And what I'm planning to do is the magic dress by Carol. Actually, it's by New Look, but Carol calls it magic dress. So let's stick to magic dress. I'll pop the picture here. So I need to make a muslin of this dress. And I decided I'm going to do it in this fabric because just in case if I don't like it, I can always turn it into a long sleeve top because it should relatively fit everywhere. And I can use the bottom part, so the dress part, to do tons of knickers. And if it won't work, uh, we are going to our friend's wedding in a week. So I need something for the second day of the wedding. Uh, the dress for the first day is currently in works. So I thought that a jersey dress, it's a quick make. I just need to twirl it. So that will be something I will be working with. Next to fabrics are fabrics that I'm not sure what I want to do with them. So first fabric I need your help with is this. It's a cotton poplin. It's a little bit stiffer uh, than the other one. It's Rose and Hubble cotton poplin. And I need an idea what to make with it. Um, I do think that the color will look lovely on me. Originally, I thought about using this for the lining, but it's not fabric that you it would be easy to slip through. So I think garment of its own would be perfect. In this. It's 112 wide and I have two meters. So if you have patterns, suggestions for it, please let me know. Just take to account that I'm on the plus side. So my bust is 44 inches and my hips are 44 almost 45 inches so um i do need um you know pattern that will accommodate for that um in the fabric requirement and it's a non-directional fabric so i that helps and the last fabric that i'm going to show you is also the fabric i need help with so this is a foil jersey so it's cotton jersey with those four little sands uh, i got it in poland it would be almost two years ago uh i think yeah it would be almost two years ago time fly and i have no idea what i want to make with it i was thinking pjs but normally i wear shorts and tank top or uh, nightgown and roughly i need a meter meter 20 for it so no point of uh, leaving 80 centimeters left so if you have any suggestions please let me know it's lovely fabric it's quite lightweight so it's i think it's 180 grams weight um or milligrams and it's it's absolutely lovely feels very nice so i would like to make something that i will love please leave your suggestions in the comment box so what do you think about my fabrics when I was looking at the fabrics that I have, you know, with two meter lengths, I realized two meters is not the length I normally go for. I will either go for one and a half meter or two and a half, three, etc. What is the length of fabric that you normally go for? I realized that it depends on the fabric, depends what I see it in my head as I can go anywhere from half of the meter to 10 meters. Let me know in comments below what's your go-to length for buying fabrics. A stash hub team said that cotton is their most common fabric 
lodged on a stash hub and I'm not surprised whatsoever it's easy to sew it's breathable it's brilliant um, I was thinking what's my favorite fabric to sew with and it's definitely cotton French terry I absolutely love sewing with it it's brilliant it's hold shape properly it stretches when needed it's my favorite uh, fabric to sew with are you using stash hub if not do you consider getting it check the stash hub sale uh, that happening during month of november it's great value i absolutely love this app and it's my go-to tool in relation to sewing to finding patterns to finding fabrics and it's like having inventory of my own shop at the palm of my hand by the way this video is not sponsored whatsoever i'm just enthusiast so thank you yvette thank you Doug, both co-conspirators behind stash hub i'm very happy that you decided to create this app you made my life and many other people much easier i hope you will join this challenge and you will have as much fun as i am using stash hub don't forget clean your sewing machine and change your needle happy sewing bye